So it's been almost three years since the last Kisharski episode. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? No, what have you been up to the last three years, Josh? They've missed you. Not much. Doing what I do. I should have Kevin off. Okay, so we're at the post office. Josh is over here. What is this? What is this? I'm, all I want to do is, is mail off a guitar. And every time I go to mail off a big item that I sell on eBay, we got we got this problem. You got to ship it right. But it, 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 you got to get the weight right. You got to get the size, the height, the width, all that stuff. As a matter of fact, the guitar sold for two, $215. Um, eBay's going to take like 20%. And then the shipping's going to cost me. This is... This is this is real world. These are real world issues here. Aaron, was this? <laughs> okay, we are leaving the post office, um, and like yeah, we shipped out a bunch of stuff. And uh, I don't know. What's up, Josh? Mm. Well, greetings, everybody. I'm here. Joshy is here. Um, we just bought out an entire an entire GameStop. My bags are overflowing in the car. I got a whole GameStop's worth of stuff. I needed inventory for my store. But uh, yeah, we just bought out an entire GameStop. I'm gonna show you what I got. It was like 60 to 70% off. This was nuts. This was a nuts deal. I got Wii Power Bricks, I got everything. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Hell yeah. Okay, so what did you just get, Josh? What did we just do? Did we literally just pull, we pulled a, we pulled a Mr. Beast and we bought an entire GameStop. I bought an entire GameStop out, ladies and gentlemen. I, I mean, I knew they were going out of business, but who would have thought they'd have got bought out by me? I just spent less, I spent like $260, $270, but I got probably $1,000 worth of stuff back there, if not more. I got a ton of Wii Power Bricks, uh, TV cords. All sorts of good Josh, stuff. Yeah, all sorts Metal of good racks. stuff. Metal racks, shelves. I'm going to come back and buy some more stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Woo! So me and Josh are here. I'm trying to buy out GameStops, and he just bought one, two, three, four, five, six, eight bags, giant bags. My car is already filled with GameStop stuff, and he just bought eight more bags of crap. Thank you, Joshy, T-shirt wizard, Forever 21. What is your thoughts on Game Wizard buying out and taking down GameStop's empire? You're not taking down GameStop's empire. You never will. You never will. So if you look over there, GameStop going out of business sale, Game Wizard putting them out of business, no. forcing them mother truckers out of business. He'll be next. Just bought another bag. I have spent over $400. Actually, wait, no, more than that. I spent almost $600. Um, granted, 100 and some odd dollars of that was, uh, was store credit. I paid some of it with store credit. I bought some PS5 games this time because they were 40 or 50 or some odd percent off. Hopefully, they go up. Anyway, I will see you guys um, when we get back to the store because this is going to be a huge video. I'm taking GameStop down one store at a time, baby. We went in. We did the buyout. I got 70% off, 80% off, 90% off. Like, I literally got all the percents off. It's awesome. Okay, greetings, everybody. We are back in the store. Me and Josh have returned. I'm going to give you a rundown of everything that I got. Josh is over there, by the way, uh, playing Call of Duty right now. Um, so we did buy out a GameStop. Uh, we got 117 games. If you want some of the highlights on the games... Um, I don't know why these were on the sale because PS5 games should not have been on the sale, but for some odd reason they were. We had Spider Man, Watch Dogs Legions, Call of Duty Cold War, we have uh, Dead or Alive uh, 6. Just as an example, this one was a 20, so which means I paid like seven or eight bucks for it. Um, we got Surge, the Surge 2, limited edition. That's sealed. Oh yeah, sealed Luigi's Mansion. We've got Donkey Kong Country Returns. I'm not gonna go down through every title. I'll just skim through so you can see. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. And then, look at this. Boom. Look at those. Fire Emblem. Final Fantasy. That Fallout, Borderlands 1, Xbox One. By the way, Borderlands on the Xbox One is a 99 cents, but I didn't pay 99 cents. 
I paid 40 cents. Josh, I'm trying to film. Oh, great. Yeah, let her suck <laughs> anyway, we have Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Need for Speed, uh, Rocket Arena, ReCore, Just Cause 3, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Nino Cooney, uh, whatever this one is, uh, Elex or Flex, whatever that one is. Uh, here's a bunch more over here Ico, Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, I'm just gonna scroll so you can see them all. That one right there, Pac Man in the mix. But yeah, we got over a hundred games. Kingdom Hearts. We've got um, Smash Brothers, Wii U, Donkey Kong. But yeah, so. Jo yeah, Josh got a bunch of shirts. I'm gonna donkey your face. Anyway. So yeah, we bought out of GameStop. Um, I'm, I might go back and make another round because there is a little bit more there. We didn't buy the entire store, but we bought a huge chunk of what they have. Um, it's pretty much, pretty much empty in there now. We're Mr. Beast. Anyway, no, 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 we are the beast. We're Mr. Beast. We're LA Beast. We're all the beast. No, you're not. You're Woo! Okay, so question number one. What is your opinion of me buying out GameStop? Well, for one, you need a bigger store. Because you buying out GameStop, you're not going to have enough room in your store. In wizard fashion, I forgot the accessories. So I also bought a, a ton of accessories. I got 20 Wii power cords. I got a bunch of Wii TV cords. I got a bunch of Xbox 360 Slim cords. Uh, what's in this bag here? Oh, more. Oh, yeah, I got so many power bricks. So many power bricks. All the power bricks. I bought all of them. And then these are all the GameStop bags. Um, yeah, I just want to throw that in. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think below about me buying, buying out a closing down GameStop. What do you think about GameStop? They're going out of business, you know? Uh, anyway. I will see you guys later. So for those of you wondering why I have a store, I'm about to show you. I gave up nowhere near the value of what this stuff was valued at. The guy was just trying to get rid of it. He needed some PS4 stuff, but... So here's what I got. I got Turtles, Harvest Moon, Mortal Kombat, Capcom Classics, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, Mortal Kombat, Sims, Bustin Out, uh, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, Jack, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Midnight Club 3, some controllers. Now I will say a lot of the stuff is dusty. I did have to clean off the systems. I have not tested the Slim 360 yet, but I tested both the PS2 and the 64. And yes, I did get three systems. I got a PS2, controllers, bunch of games, uh, 360 Slim, controllers, whole crap load of games, Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare, Modern Black Ops 1, Grand Theft Auto 5, but the 64, oh my god, look what games I got for the 64, I got Mario 64, I got Mario Kart 64, and lastly, but not leastly, that baby, Mario Party 3, so I got all of those, tight stick controller, three systems, I mean... This is why I do what I do, baby. Because a random customer will show up. Hey, this was in my closet. I just want to get rid of it. I don't care what I get. You can give me anything. And then I just throw them whatever and go on about my day. So I will see you guys later in the store. Woo! Now, in my defense, it does seem like he got ganked. But I offered him more stuff. Because he walks in, he just wanted a PS4 controller. I know there's three systems in all his games. I offered him some PS4 games off the wall behind me. And he just, he didn't want them. He just wanted the controller. I tried, guys. You know, what am I supposed to do? I'm not going to turn him away. I need the inventory. So, there's a ton more of bags back in my back seat. Um, the GameStop that's going out of business that I've been slowly buying out. Um went to 70% off. 
They went to 70% off. So a $30 game was $9, a $10 game was $3, a 99 cent game was 30 cents. Skyrim was 30 cents because they had it at 99 cents for some weird reason on the 360. So, yeah. What? Here's some more Xbox Ones and PS4 games. This is what the wall looks like right now. After three days of uh, buying out. Okay, question number two. How is the house cleaning going? Not good. Not finished. Oh. Got a lot more to do and everybody decided to quit doing it. So yeah, I just bought an entire GameStop out. All the shelves are empty. All the shelves are empty. Okay. Yeah, so I, look at this. A microwave. We could use that for, you know, but everything. Literally everything. All the way down. Josh, so uh, did we just buy a GameStop? I think we did. I think we did. I think we did. I'm okay. Get that off I'm okay. There. I'm okay. Get that off the, I understand. Say hi. Hi. Hey. This. He pulled a Mr. Beast. He bought out GameStop. Josh is over there being a little insubordinate mother trucker because he's mad that I'm over here buying out GameStop and he. He's, he's hopping on a bus. He's rebelling against the system. Josh, please come home. Please come home to daddy. Why did you run and hide at the bus stop during the GameStop buyout? We're inside buying stuff out from GameStop. Didn't run and hide. I had and to get done. You're fing around. Like you always do. You just fing around. So, yeah, we're buying out GameStop. And it is, it is glorious in all of its glory. Look, look, look. Look, look, what's that say? 90% off, and I'm working out a deal with the owners. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it for 95% off. I'm gonna get everything 95% off. By the time you see this video, this store won't be open anymore, which is a good thing, which is a good thing, so they won't get harassed. But anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, 95, 95% off, 95% off. I just gotta come back Sunday. Everything. Mine. M mother, mother, just, just calm down. I know. We're buying GameStop. Everything's gonna be all right. John's coming back over. He's getting a sub. You know, everything will be yeah, fine. Can I just drop, please? Okay. See, Josh does have a kind heart in his body. He came back. <laughs> no, playing with you. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, we did it. Josh did it. I did it. We all did it. We bought that. We bought. We bought. Oh, there he is. Here, here. Our, our rides here to get the third case. Um, somebody that I, I won't say what or who, but there was a case in here, and somebody bought it, and, and we knew who was gonna buy it. So, so there, there there's case one. There's you, case two. There's case three. And there's a case. And there's Mama Josh, Kay and Josh leaving. Woohoo! So, as you can see in front of me, I have one of the rarest systems I think I've ever bought in a lot. And I paid nowhere near what I was supposed to pay for this. We have a Vetrex. Vetrex. Or Vectrex, whatever you want to call it. Entertain, entertaining new ideas. We got games on the system. Um, anyway. We also got all of these games, like 18 games. We got Star Castle, we got Solar Quest, Web Wars, uh, we got, this is funny, we got a game called Rip Off, <laughs> uh, Clean Sweep, we got Heads Up, Scramble, uh, Berserk, Armor Attack, Spinball, Starhawk, Polar, what's this one say, Polar Rescue, We've got Narzod up there. Get a better angle. Narzod. We've got Cosmic Chasm, Star Trek, 
the motion picture. We've got Spike. We've got Bedlam. And last but not least, we got Hyper Chase. So all of those games that you just saw there and the Vetrix, um, it was an insane deal. I'm just going to tell you that. It was an insane deal. Uh, by the time this video goes up, that's probably going to be gone because of how rare it is. But I don't believe that just happened. I've only ever had two Vetrexes in my entire history of selling games. One I bought out the Wagon Wheel Flea Market, and the one that I got in this video, it was ma I've never seen that much Vetrex stuff in one lot, and I got it all for 200 bucks. It was, it was stupid. Josh, he's locking up the booth, everybody. We're locked. The booth is locked. Josh, he's over here locking up the booth, everybody. Josh. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, Josh is locking up the booth. Josh is locking up the booth, everybody. <laughs> he's locking up the booth. He's locking up the booth. He, he forgot about the Cheerio. Got him! What is your opinion of Josh's Forever 21 booth? He makes good money doing it. I think everybody should be on board with what Josh was doing. He, he, can, make, he can make money selling vintage stuff. Not just all about games. Very true. We should open up a variety shop. Okay. One stop variety shop. That would be a perfect name for it. Games, vintage clothing, and collectible glassware. <laughs> Actually, collectible glassware when it's sold is not going to be no longer. Greetings, everybody. See all those bags back there? I'm buying out GameStop number two. How much was these red dits in the window? The ones with the waggly tail. How much was these red that's in the window? How much cause these now are for sale? Ooh! Look at that. Mario Maker, Pokemon Moon, Rise of Guardians, Lego Movie, Zelda Majora's Mask, Animal Crossing, Mario 2, Mario 3D Land. And then we have all of these games. All of them. Yeah, so some aren't, aren't that great. There's, there's some sports in there. FIFA 15, 17, 18. I got buyers for those. Those were 40 cents, baby. Any of the sport games you see in here, I got them because they were 40 cents. We got five Red Dead Redemption 2s. We got My Hero 1's Justice. Good animes. We got Hellboy. We got some PS5 games. Mortal Kombat 11, Watch Dogs Legions. These were like 20 OPs. Could not pass up. Uh, Wolfenstein, DJ the Heroes. No, they were not 20 a piece. They were. Yeah, but no, they were 60 something percent off of that. Oh, and look, look, look. Battlefield, look, Battlefield. Look boom, NBA, boom. Madden, NBA, jump, Madden, jump. jump. Whatever. 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 I didn't pay. I didn't pay enough for it. And I'm going to go back and buy more. This is the second GameStop that I've cleared out uh, in a couple months. And I'll see you guys there. Greetings, everybody. This is kind of a before picture. This is the store. There's a few things that need to be cleaned over here, obviously. And then this needs to all be dealt with. But this is what the before looks like of the front of the store. I just wanted to give you a little, little bird's eye view. The PS5 games. But I am working on cleaning all of this up. There's the vet tracks and all that good stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to get a good shot of everything. Let me... Step back here. This is a before, and I'm gonna update every couple days on this clip. You guys won't see it because obviously it's gonna be a Kasharski episode, so it'll be like one of those montage things or whatever. So every couple days you'll get an update, and um, hopefully by the time I'm done, this is gonna look a lot better. Me and Josh have found a random flea market on the beach. I don't know where this flea market has popped up and came came out of. We're out garage selling, uh, and this is what we found. 
So I'll keep you guys updated if we find anything important. I don't know if this is every week or if this is just this weekend, but I will let you know. To be honest, I am extremely sad that the wagon wheel has closed. I don't know who I have to beg or bribe to get them to reopen, but I j please reopen the flea market, please. Josh in his natural habitat, the clothes rack. So Josh, what are your first thoughts or opinions of this new market? Or do you have none? Apparently Josh has no opinions. There's a few, a few vendors I think I recognize here from Wagon Wheel. But uh, yeah, this, is, this was just a really weird experience. I think we're just gonna get out of here. There's nothing here that we need. Are you sad Wagon Wheel closed? And what's with all these flea markets popping up out of nowhere? Nope. Not sad. You don't miss the flea market at all? Nope. It's just another flea market. What the hell? So, what did you just pick up? He just got some Florida moder moder Florida lottery mugs back there at that beach garage sale. We are on the beach. This is probably the only sale that we're going to hit on the sale. You know, you probably wish you could have. But anyways, I will see you guys at our next stop. Oh, you also got some Disney things. I'll show you guys later in the review. Okay, so I just picked up all of this stuff. We got some 3DS games. We got some PS3 games. Wii and Wii U games. We got PS4 games. Um, I am buying off. I am buying out a bunch of different game stops. This is awesome. Look at all these PS4 and Xbox One games. That's not even all of it. Look look at my wall. We now have, I got, that was, I got another copy of that. I got a Spider-Man. I got all the Spider-Mans. I've got um, NBA's new, that's new. Saints Row on the Switch, Vampire. There's more games strewn through there. I'm buying a bunch of pops and a bunch of figures. And look, look at all that. And there's the pop. There, there's there, there's the pop pops and then there's the wheeze. Look at that. Look at those figures. Hell yeah. Woohoo! Just so you can see this. Eight hundred and fifty-four dollars was my total. But look how much I saved. Six thousand eight hundred and seventy-two dollars eighty-two cents. I literally bought pretty much everything that was left in the entire store. <sighs> well PS5. Well, PS5. PS5. Poyo Poyo. Poyo to the Poyo. Poyo. Oh, and, um, yeah. So, yeah, Cyberpunk happened. What are your thoughts on me having so many copies of Cyberpunk? You have, like, maybe two copies. GameStop has, like, 100,000. That's nothing. I don't know if you can see, but a lot of cyberpunk happened. Um, Series X games. Um, I just bought out an entire GameStop. Um, I bought all of their game inventory they had left. I bought most of their um, figures and toys and stuff out that was left. Um, I spent over a grand. I can tell you that much. I won't give you guys specific numbers, but as you saw on just one of my receipts, I saved over $6,000. This was the most nuts purchase I've ever made. I had to sell some Dogecoin, I had to sell some Ethereum. Uh, I sold way too much of both of those if, if, if you're asking me personally. But what I'm gonna do is as I sell this stuff, I'm just gonna buy it all back. So I will see you guys back at the store because this is gonna be nuts. Well everybody, I am back at the store. I have returned to the store. Wait till you see what I just purchased. Woo! Okay, so these are a lot of the uh, games that didn't really have cases. They're the, the non-games. I mean, this one's got a case. So I, I hate those. But uh, then we have over here a bunch of Epic Mickey 2s. Um, now I did get somewhere in here. I got a, I got some Wii Mario's, but they're disc only's. But that's okay. Um, we've got Black Ops Four, like you wouldn't believe. Um, we actually have Cyberpunk, like you wouldn't believe over here. Look over here. We got 
I think there's like 10 copies of Cyberpunk. We got all the Cyberpunks. We got some Black Cold War. Josh trying to grab a, grab a Cold War already. Cold. Series X Cold Wars, I might add. These are all new games, uh, new releases. Some of them are the new used ones because they're the last copy. So they're still new, but Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Gears, Tactics. We got a few of those. We got Devil May Cry Special Edition. What else is in here? We got we got some copies of Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, now, over here, these are all. This thing's filled with disc only. And I bought out an entire GameStop, so as you can imagine, their inventory was was heavy. A lot of stuff. So that there's that there. Um, I bought a bunch of these little blind box things, or like little figures. Um, these are kind of cool. Bought a bunch of stuff. You see something up here. We got some PS5 games. Spider-Man. We got Poyo Poyo. We got Immortals Rising. Immortals Rising. Uh, Just Dance 2021. By the way, I didn't have any of these three games up there. So I already had five up there. Now I have eight, eight total um, PS5 games. I don't know how many are out. Uh, here's another cool looking stack. Wolfenstein. Uh... Combo Racing Game, Dishonored and Prey, a collection, Saints Row the Third Remastered, that was cool. Uh, we got a bunch of copies of, we got the Jedi Fallen Order, that's how much they were asking. Just to show you how good of a deal all this was, it, I got 10% off, or I got 90% off, so that number right there was actually a 5. I actually paid just a 5. But, this was nuts. This is insane. I do want to show you guys one more thing real fast. So let me turn, shut this off. Um, like I said, a bunch of good games. Modern Warfare. Um, this one was another game that was $50 that I got for 5 bucks. Awesome deals. Switch chargers, snipper clips. We got all the good stuff. Now, just this one receipt. Just this one receipt. I saved $6,872.82. Boom, bachachuata, boom, boom, bop, boopity boop, boopity beep, uh, boop, 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 all those PS4 games, all those Xbox One games, uh, PS4 games, Switch games, all this stuff. Um, I have now bought out two, almost three entire Game Stops. I know you're like, where's all this money coming from? Well, thank God for crypto. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so yeah, I bought out another GameStop. And I will see you guys next time. This is this is insane. The amount of stuff I bought, I can't even show you half of what I bought. It's just all jumbled. Anyway, I'll see you guys later, guys. This is awesome. Woo! So if you notice, me and Justin Timberlake over there, Fuck you. Justin Timberlake over there, just got haircuts. You want to know why we got haircuts? Because we're going to Texas. Woo!